Hello students. Uh, if you are a JE or a NEET aspirant, especially if you are a JE advanced aspirant, this video is relevant to you. And uh, this is an information which as will be very useful for parents and students to understand uh, how the circuit operates, especially the coaching circuit operates. One of the, uh, you must have read lots of advertisements from a lot of coaching institutions. They talk about their top rankers, then the number of ranks and so on and so forth. Uh, but one parameter which is very crucial before you decide to join any coaching institution or before you actually uh, enroll anywhere is uh, retention rate, students retention rate and also faculty retention rate. But right now this video is dedicated to students retention rate. What is students retention rate? Uh, how many students join the institution, the coaching institution and how many students completed the 2 years 11th and 12th standard JE program or NEET program. The ratio between how many completed upon total number of students, this is basically retention rate. You can see the other way around also. You can say that uh, if the retention rate is high, the dropout rate is low. If the dropout rate is high, retention rate is low. So therefore, uh, these two are linked uh, complementary kind of parameters. So the institution which has higher retention rate is the one who takes care is the one which takes care of all strata of students who join the institution. This is a very clear aspect. You will be shocked to know that in Maharashtra, the JE coaching institutions which operate, there is hardly a 30, 50, 60 percent retention rate of these institutions. Within six months, within a year, many students quit JE coaching institutions. Why does this happen? This happens because if you try to teach the same way to all types of students who join the institution, there is a problem. It has to be accepted that those students after 10th standard who join a coaching institution for JE, they come from diverse backgrounds. Some come from a metropolitan background, some come from rural background, some come from English medium, some from semi-English medium, some students who are from state board, CBSE, ICSE, international board, some who have done 8th, 9th, 10th coaching, some are just fresh. So when heterogeneous backgrounds, from diverse backgrounds students come and with different grasping speeds as well. So not everybody has the same level of grasping speed, not everybody is that intelligent. Therefore, when students who have different intellectual levels and different academic backgrounds, when they join a coaching institution, it is necessary that they need to be separated into different types of batches and taught differently. One size doesn't fit all. One type of teaching doesn't fit everybody, doesn't suit everybody. Therefore, you have to tailor your teaching methodology depending on the type of student, depending on the type of batch. Any institution which does this properly, religiously, has a very high retention rate. Any institution which doesn't do that has a low retention rate. And therefore, I would like to tell you this, even in our institution, IITN's Prestige Kendra, we have five different types of batches. We teach differently to these five groups of students. This is the reason why IITP has a retention in the last 10 to 12 consecutive years of more than 95%. And this is because we take care of students who are very bright, who are going to make it to the IITs, and also those who may not eventually make it to the IITs or a national institution, but they will get into an A grade college, they will also have a successful career. So therefore, there has to be an approach of accommodating everybody, being all inclusive, and for that, a differentiated teaching methodology is the only way to handle this. Any institution which takes the trouble and pain to do that is successful in having high retention rate. Any institution which doesn't do that, just focuses on the top 10-20% bright students to produce results and then again markets to get the next batch, that doesn't really bother about the bottom 70-80% and loses out lots of students. <coughs> It's for parents and students to decide which option is superior and which way to go for it. IITP stands for an all-inclusive approach of taking care of all groups of students with differentiated teaching methodology and having high retention rate. That's our submission to you as far as this is concerned. Thank you very much.